Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi game with OpenGL uh, with Python programming tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about colors with uh, Pi OpenGL. So um, to do that, we, we don't necessarily have to specify anything further here, uh, but generally when you add color, you're going to add, um, you, you want to fill in the edges, right, or the, the faces, so to speak, of or the sides of the cube. Um, but just to show you, for example, uh, we could do something like, where am I? Here we go, draw a cube. <laughs> I'm really like lost here. Um, uh, we should be able to get away with something like this, like uh, just do GL color. Uh, 3fv and then in here um, let's do yeah 0 1 and 1 we'll see if we get away with this you'll never get away with this okay so we've added color to our lines now of course we still have that uh, zoom thing going on so let's go ahead and fix that code as well um, so the perspective, these are the clipping edges again. So 0 0.1 and we'll do 50 there. That should be enough to kind of fix our problem. Uh, okay, so we've colored the uh, lines, but the question is how do we do the rest? So um, where am I? Here we are. So the other thing, like uh, just to show, like we could do green, for example, like this. Right. So these are like RGB values. Okay, so you've got red, green, blue. So conversely, if you want it to be red, you would say one. And then that's how we, you can also mix the colors and all of that. Um, so that's how that goes uh, together. Let's, let's make it, well, I guess we'll leave it red for now. Um, and now let's talk about how we could do like faces. So the way that we would do faces is we have to specify the vertices that make the face, and then we have to specify some OpenGL code that we say, hey, by the way, this makes a face that you are going to fill in OpenGL. Uh, so the way that we do that is right here. Um, let us also, let me just pause the rotate real quick, and just so we can see for a second, how many faces um, or surfaces does a cube have? We've got the top, left, right, and bottom, so that's four, and then front and back, so that's six faces. And then you just specify the nodes that contain each face, and that's a face or a surface. So let's go up uh, to the top where we've got vertices, edges, and now we just add uh, surfaces, let's say, surfaces, equals, and it's gonna be a list, and in the list we're gonna have six surfaces, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then these connect basically the vertices. So you'll have 0, 1, 2, and 3 will be one of them. Uh, then 3, 2, 7, and 6 is another one. 6, 7, 5, and 4 is another one. Uh, 4, 5, 1, and 0 is another one. And then you've got 1, 5, 7, 2. And then finally, 4, 0, 3, and 6. And that makes up all of the faces of uh, our cube. Then we come down to draw a cube and we basically we need another GL sequence or GL kind of block because this GL block is just for lines. Then we need another GL block that will be for like faces. So what you're going to do is basically enter enter and we're going to have another block of code. As usual you always have GL begin and GL end. And then in here is where we put like the bulk of new code. So first of all, we do need to have a parameter just like GL lines for here. And the way that we're going to do this is GL quads. Then we're going to say for each surface in surfaces, what do we want to do? And what we want to do is, um, well, we've already colored the lines, but let's go ahead and say for vertex in surface, um, we're going to do uh, GL color 3FV and then we'll do 0, 1, 1 and uh, that's 
It might be enough, but I don't think so. I think we'll have to add one more line, but we'll te we'll test. Mm, yeah, we have to add one more line. So let's close out of this, close out of this, blah, blah, blah. And now we add GL vertex 3FV. And then we have uh, vertices with the uh, index value of vertex. So that's vertices with the index value that we pass through here, vertex. And that's for vertex in edge and so on. Let's save and run that. And now you see that we've filled in uh, the faces, but we still see our lines, of course, and that's okay. Um, so we'll hit that. And now let's turn back on our rotation. And now you've got a rotating cube and you filled in the faces. Um, the last thing I'll show you, of course, uh, is the question of um, order. So let, what if we do this? What if we cut, paste? Now you'll see that we fill in the faces first, or rather we've drawn the lines first and then we filled in the faces. So you'll see that there are no lines on that cube as opposed to what we were doing before, where we drew the cube first, or the quads, and then we drew the lines, and that's why the lines appeared in front. So um, anyway, that's it for uh, this tutorial video. So hopefully you guys enjoy. We added some color, and we got some zoom going on here. Awesome blossom. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, and stay tuned to the next video.